Hey guys, thanks for joining. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at problem 1791 on Leak Code, Find Center of Star Graph. So what we'll do is first we'll read over the problem description, then we'll have a discussion on how we can effectively implement a solution, if there's any edge cases we have to account for, and what kind of data structures and algorithms we can use to make the solution as efficient as possible. So the problem reads, there is an undirected star graph consisting of n nodes labeled from 1 to n. A star graph is a graph where there is one center node and exactly n minus 1 edges that connect the center node with every other node. You are given a 2D integer array edges where each edge indicates that there is an edge between the nodes U1 and V1. Return the center of the given star graph. So as an example, they give us this graph here. 2 is the center, we can see that visually. They give that information to us implicitly via the edges and we have to determine that 2 is in fact the center. So what can we determine based on the facts here? So they define the star graph as one center node. Every other node is on the edge or on the boundary of the graph, if you want to call it that. So that means the center node, the center of the star graph, is the only one that's going to have more than one connection. Every other node will only be connected to the center node. There's no other connections between edge nodes. So based on that, we can implement an algorithm which will find the first node that has more than one connection and return that node. So we don't have to actually consider everything, we just have to go through. As we're iterating, find the first node that has more than one connection, which also means we don't even have to iterate over the entire array except for the worst case scenario. So that's a bit of a time savings right there. Now what we have to do is keep track along the way of which nodes have how many connections or if we've discovered a node with a connection or not, etc. So what we can do for that is we can use a set. So if you're not familiar with sets, it's similar to an array, but each item in the set is unique and it has a property where a lookup is in constant time, whereas in an array it would be linear time. So we can take advantage of that to make this a little bit faster as well. So the set will contain integers, and if an integer is in a set, then that means the corresponding node has been discovered already. If the integer is not in the set, then the node has not yet been discovered, and when we discover it, we can add it to the set. Now, how do we know when to return a value? We can return a value if we encounter a node that's already in the set, because if that happens, then that means we found a node with a second connection, and the only possible node that can have more than one connection is the center node. So therefore, with that, we know to return that node. So just to summarize, we're going to create a set. We're going to iterate over the edges for each vertex in each edge. If it doesn't exist in the set, we add it. If it does, we just return that node immediately. So let's go ahead and implement the solution for that. I'll zoom in a little bit just so the code is a little bit easier to read. So the first thing is a set. I'll call it out edge counts. And we also have to import the set as well. Set is the type definition, the interface. Hash set will be the actual set implementation we use. I'll call this out edges found, just for a little bit more clarity. Then what we'll do is iterate over the edge. So edges is a two dimensional array. Each edge is a one-dimensional array, but it only contains two items, which is the from vertex and the to vertex. So we're going to say if the set has this vertex already, return vertex immediately. Uh, just as a note, I'm using the terms node and vertex as synonyms, so they both are referring to the same thing, one of these nodes in the graph. So if it's found it, we will return it immediately, otherwise we'll continue. And we have to do the same thing with the other vertex and the edge. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And instead of edge zero, we will say edge one. And just because the return type is int, I'm going to return negative one at the bottom as some base case. 
I could also just throw an error there indicating that some air conditioning has happened if that line was reached, but for now I'll just leave it like this. So let's go ahead and submit this and make sure it's right and see how it stacks up against some of the other answers. So I've just run the solution twice because sometimes there's a little bit of variability in the runtime and memory. So on the second one we have 0 milliseconds faster than 100% of solutions, which is definitely a very good performance. The memory usage is roughly two-thirds better, plus or minus a few percent points. So overall this is a performing implementation. If we had used an array here instead of a set, then it definitely would have taken a lot longer to find the answer. So that covers the content for this video. If you made it to the end, please leave a like and subscribe for more LeetCode videos. And also be sure to check out our online website, bitethisstore.com, where we have tons of different dev articles related to programming topics. And we have an online store with mugs, laptop sleeves, and other merch centered around programming, memes, and humor. Definitely worth taking a look. Thanks for watching.